You could have very good contents on your website and you've been thinking of how you can actually increase the traffic coming into your website and at the same time increase the engagement with your readers. Hey guys, this is Zevin from DMZ. In this video, I'll be sharing with you how you can actually add a social media icon to your WordPress website so that when your readers is reading through your articles and your content, if they like your content, they will be very easily for them to click to share. And when more people is sharing out your content for you, you'll be able to increase the exposure and then increase the traffic coming into your website. Now, if you're building your WordPress websites, uh, you know, you have been writing some blogs and articles, right? So sometimes you'll be able to see that, hey, you know, like uh, why at the end of the blog, blog post and some people that's having these social media icons, but yours don't have. As a default WordPress, uh, you won't be able to have all these features, okay? But some people, they'll be having like you know, all these social share buttons and like button, tweet um, buttons at the very bottom of right there. How do you actually do that, right? So, um, Having the social media icon is very important for your website. The reason behind is that when the people is actually reading, right, if they like your article and things like that, they will be able to help you to click and they will be able to share it on their social media. So when the moment they are sharing on your social media, you will actually increase the exposure. Yeah, exposure of your articles and you will be able to um, you know, increase and leverage on, on, on their traffic. Yeah, on the social media traffic to, to, to coming into your website and things like that. So um it's actually highly recommend for you to have these social share um, buttons on your websites, yeah? So how you can actually do that, you need to ensure that you actually go under the plugin area, okay? We're going to um, add a new plugin. So um, this plugin that I would like to recommend to you is called Add to Any, okay? In the market, there's actually a lot of um, other social share um plugin okay but uh, if you can see over right here you know social sharing buttons social share buttons but the one that i've been using is called add to any the one that's having a five hundred thousand uh, active installation and things like that right so go ahead go ahead and click on install now and activate the plugins here yeah? Like I mentioned, why do i like to use um, add to any simply because it's that it's very easy to use Okay, so um, yeah, very simple setup and things like that. So you'll be able to have the features right there, right? Now, the main thing, right after you activated the plugins, you actually need to do some setup settings, yeah? So the settings will go under the settings area and you'll be able to see the add to any right there, okay? So click on the add to any and a few settings like I mentioned. First of all, um, over right here, it's just telling you the icon style, how big that's, you know, you want the icon to be. And... Most of the time that I will leave it as default, um, default setting. So I don't want the icons to go too big, right? Or else it will look a little bit annoying. Okay, so I will just keep it as short as possible over right here. Now, main thing that you need to focus, which is the share buttons. And you need to decide what kind of share uh, button that you would like to display over right here. Okay, the one that I would like to suggest to you is mainly uh, most of the time that um, we will keep Facebook. Definitely, okay, the main social media. We have Facebook, we have uh, Twitter, but I have a tweet button right there already, so I won't, I won't use that. So I will have Facebook's uh, uh, LinkedIn, WhatsApp, okay? WeChat is depending on your um, audience, okay? So I have another one, it's called Telegram. So if you don't want to use Telegram, this is what you can do. You can, you can just untick that Telegram out and you will actually just disappear from that. Okay, some people, they actually use it as email as well. So they can actually click on, on the email and they were able to send them as a copy of email as well. Okay, so um, email depends on your audience, whether or not they are actually using it. And there are so many other um, channels over right here for you to use, right? Um, Facebook Messenger as well. So you can click and then um, it will just send the articles to through Facebook Messenger to their friends and, you know, even to themselves as a copy of the emails right there, right? They have Skype, they have uh, WeChat, mm, Tumblr, or Reddit as well, yeah? So this is usually the main social media um, icon that I'll be focusing uh, with add to, um, you know, add to any, okay? Instagram and YouTube is not available over right here as the main, um, you know, as the main channel social share channel but it's actually available under the widget area 
Okay, so YouTube, Snapchat, uh, this is the main key, you know, some other main key, Instagrams, you know, uh, social social media. But with this, it's actually good enough, okay? With, you, with this, it's actually good enough. So what you can do is that you can just scroll down a little bit and it will actually ask you what where where is the placement. Okay, where the placement should be. Um, if you want to place the social share icon at the very bottom of your post, or you want to put it at the top of the post, or you want to put both top at the bottom. Okay, um, usually two strategy. One strategy is to put it at the very bottom so that users, after they read all your articles already, then only they go ahead and um, you know, uh, share. But one main thing is that what if your article is not interesting? If your article is not interesting, then um, you know, when the moments they are reading through uh, halfway and then they left the website, you won't be able to get a share as well. Yep. So, so two types of strategy. One is you really want you know like uh, people that really read through all your articles, then only they share, then you put it at the bottom. Okay. Or else, what you can actually do is that you can put um top. So then when people come in, when they see that, they will just help you to share before even they read and things like that. So if you want to tackle on both people, then you just go ahead and put top and bottom like this, right? Okay. So the rest of the settings, I won't go, go, go in in details, but what you can do is save changes. Okay. Right after you save changes, go ahead and refresh your website. You should be able to see that all the social media icons will be coming out from that. Okay, so very fast, very quick, and that's how you're going to set up the social share icons on your WordPress website. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, remember to leave your comment below. How is like and share? If you are yet to subscribe to our YouTube channel, remember to click on the subscribe button and most importantly, hit on the bell icon so that you'll be able to receive notifications when we launch our new video. See you in the next video. Thank you.